What's up everybody, Ryan and Greg here for another break break breakdown of Twin Peaks The Return, episode... What? You all right, Greg? What year is this? Uh... Oh no. Welcome to Fan Theories on GameSpot Universe, the new show where we talk about all the craziest and best fan theories about the movies and TV shows that we love. And we want to hear about your favorite theories, so drop those in the comments below. Today's theory comes from Greg Thomas, who's going to share his favorite Twin Peaks theory about Laura Palmer. Now Greg is... oh. I'm being told right now that Greg is in the Black Lodge. Who's talking to you? Hey friends, I'm... I'm somewhere. Uh, today's theory I'm going to share with you is one that I've been dreaming about a lot lately. Twin Peaks The Return may have ended in 2017, but that hasn't stopped fans from theorizing every single aspect of David Lynch and Mark Frost's iconic show. The unconventional narrative and structure leaves fans with a treasure trove of theories to work with. Is Sarah Palmer Judy? No. Is Mulholland Drive in the same universe as Twin Peaks? Yes. Is the whole series a dream? Yeah. No. Hmm. Wait. In the final moments of the return, right before Carrie lets out one last blood-curling scream, we hear the faint noise of someone screaming out, Laura. So what's going on? You know what? I'll let Monica Bellucci explain it. We're like the dreamer. Dreams, and then lives inside the dream. But, who is the dreamer? So who is the dreamer? Well, I think it's Laura Palmer, and the whole series takes place in her dream. Can you do a Dougie impression? <clears throat> uh, okay, let's see, it's... Hello! Mm, more, more, it's like, hello! Hello, 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 yeah, yeah, that's hello. it. Hello, Greg. Hello, who's right? Oh. Hello. Okay, guys, let's get started. What do you think of my theory? Laura Palmer, it's all in her head. It's all a dream. All of Twin Did Peaks. Did I just waste everything. 25 years? No, you didn't, you didn't. You didn't <laughs> okay. waste okay. a single thing. Okay. The show is still the show, but... David Lynch wants you to know that this show actually takes place in Laura Palmer's head. Mm. That's it. I think I'm gonna need a little bit more convincing. Yes, okay, yes. let's do that. All right, right let's start with, um, ugh. Okay, so I'm taking this theory from Marco Caponelli. Marcos. Marcos. Okay, so I'm taking this theory from Marco Caponelli from the Welcome to Twin Peaks forum, actually. Uh, it's actually a pretty good theory. I've seen a few on Reddit, too, uh, and we'll go into detail on one piece from this from Reddit. But for now, the basis of it comes from him, from Marco. Uh, three levels here. Three dimensional levels of Twin Peaks, oh boy. the show. Oh it's, boy. I'll try to make this as Lay simple as possible. Me. Okay, so first level, real world, our reality. Us, us. right okay. here. Us. Okay. Second level, Twin Peaks, the show. Okay. All of it, season one, two, and even parts of three. Okay. Third level of this entire thing is the dream inside the fiction itself of Twin Peaks. Dream within the dream. Yes. And is that the return? Yes, that's okay. mostly the return is the dream within it's the dream. Like inception, okay. like dream yep. levels. Okay, yep. all right. Inception, David Lynch's inception, basically. David Lynch's inception. Okay, okay. got it. We live inside a dream. All right, so let's start from the top. The real world, the entire world is set inside Laura Palmer's dream with some characters that are actually from her real life in there as well. So that's where you get characters in the roadhouse. Uh, but those characters are also in someone else's dream. And now mm. we're starting to get an inception. So I'm gonna pull this back just a little bit to not confuse <laughs> everyone okay. here. And let's get started from the top. <laughs> I'm trying my hardest to make sure. But, but that's not, there's one other dream. Not no, going into that dream I know, I don't want to say that dream's in this dream because then it's <laughs> confusing. So some characters are born out of Laura's imagination. Dale Cooper, completely just a figment of her imagination. Some characters 
are real from her that she takes from she pulls from real life monica bellucci eddie vetter uh billy zane who doesn't dream about billy zane in the 90s And then at the end of episode 18, when you, you hear the real Sarah Palmer screaming out to Laura, that is the real us real Sarah Palmer, not the Sarah Palmer in Twin Peaks from season one and two and even in season three, calling out to her. Calling out to her to wake up. To wake up. Wake up. And that's the end of the series. That's it. Oof. The end of Twin Peaks forever. Okay. That that does give some context to the ending. I, I do like mm -hmm. parts of what you just said. And yeah, the part where you said Cooper is just a dream person, that makes sense to me because he's kind of not real. <laughs> you know, he's this image of a hero, like someone that you would want to come and save you and investigate your murder. Mm -hmm. And he's very like old Hollywood in a way, and he's very positive. He doesn't seem like a real person to me. No. Does nope. this theory explain the fragmentation of Dale Cooper, the Mr. C, the Dougie, the Dougie, how they're all a little different. And then the uh, Richard. Right. Yeah. Richard could be the real Cooper the entire mm -hmm. time. And Cooper realizes this at the very end in episode 18, or he's like, wait, no, I thought I was Dale the entire time. No, I'm just a figment of Richard's imagination, his dream. What? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I might need a crazy board. <laughs> Pepe, Sylvia Pepe, Sylvia Pepe now. We, we need You've lost your mind. You've lost your goddamn mind. Okay, here are the clues to break it down. Let's start with David Bowie, of course. This is right from there. Firewalk with yes. me. He says it right there. It's all a dream. We live inside a dream. Right. That's true. From, and it's David Bowie saying it. You better listen to him. It's David Bowie. <laughs> yeah. He's telling the truth here. Mm -hmm. And then in episode 17, the superimposed Dale Cooper saying we're in a dream. We live inside a dream. Come on. There again, David okay. Lynch hitting you over the head with it. Just it's all the dream. All of it. There's a lot of mentions of dreams here. Yeah. You're onto something. And then my favorite because it just involves Monica Bellucci, one of my favorite actresses of all time. Ugh. That scene itself, just David Lynch setting it up, like I had the Monica Bellucci dream again. Yeah. Uh, and then she tells us straight up, it's a dream, who's the dreamer? Yeah, that scene seemed completely separate from everything else that was happening mm -hmm. in The Return. Yes. And like it came out of nowhere and it, maybe it was grounded in reality. Yeah. So yeah, and I see where you're coming from. The Return also is like dreams within dreams. So mm -hmm. again, Inception. So I, me personally, these characters are having their own dreams in The Return. One of them, just for an example, instead of going through all of them, is the Roadhouse. And I think all of the Roadhouse segments are Audrey's dream. Mm, okay, okay. I can buy that. Everyone's having their own dream there too in the return. Oh, you're ready to <laughs> you're percolating here. I'm not sure. About, I'm not I'm not totally sure on that one. Tell me how you feel. I mean, oh, I would no. say I, I you know, we've talked about this before in our our breakdowns. I think that you know, maybe half of those roadhouse scenes are are Audrey's mm -hmm. and then the other half are uh part of of uh, like actual twin peaks so to speak okay dream level two nope i think they're all fake they're all phony they're in her head all of them yep okay yeah something about all of the roadhouse scenes seemed mm -hmm. unique to a certain level of the, the dream tears that you're talking about yeah. so i can see those being like dream within a dream and then and then Audrey's dreams are separate, so. Like. All characters that represent something in her life too, including her mm -hmm. son, which you just see him as just this monster in his scene in the roadhouse too. So it's, how would Audrey dream about Freddy with the green glove? Good question. Hmm. This goes back to every <laughs> single thing in Twin Peaks where one thing can screw that entire theory up. This is what I'm saying. I think there are two roadhouses. Mm -hmm. Two roadhouses, half of them are yes. Audrey's. The other half are in at least, you know, going with going with this theory that you're presenting, mm -hmm. which is interesting. The uh, the ones where you actually see uh, characters who are in the return, those roadhouse scenes would be in 
at least the returns version of reality. That's dream level two. Dream yeah. level two. Mm -hmm. in and the, then in this uh, theory, yeah. Then Audrey's stuff is dream level three. The dancing okay. sequence, etc. Okay. 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 That's good. That's Something good. like that. So, yeah. I mean, that's that's uh, that's uh, that's I all right. It. We can I we can go with that. Okay, now back to Monica Bellucci for a second because that's just my life. My... Always, but who is the dreamer? I think it's Laura. But who do you guys think it is? You want to go first? Sure. Oh boy. <laughs> um, if I had to, if I had to put my money on uh, any two or three different possibilities. Mm -hmm. Um, I would in canon. I would say uh, Sarah pa Sarah Palmer, Judy. Yeah, she is the she is the host of Judy, mm -hmm. um, going at least with the the returns sort of lore. I'm not going to talk about Judy. In fact, we're not going to talk about Judy at all. We're going to keep her out of it. Judy is the sort of uh, fugitive from the cross-dimensional time police uh, that are the Blue Rose Task Force. So they're trying to find her to wake up from the dream. Is that kind of how they're going along with this or no? I've always had sort of an idea that they're kind of just tracking down a piece of evil, right? Like we saw the the fragmenting, the Garmin Boja, every all of the mm -hmm. part eight madness mm -hmm. uh, that came down into the bugs and the one that went into Sarah Palmer in 1956. Could that just be a dream from Laura that she's having about her mother? So she is lulled okay. to sleep by the radio broadcast, and then the thing crawls into her. And you think from that's origin point for all of Twin Peaks? I think that's reasonable to say that there is a, like, for lack of a better way of putting it, like a blue rose timeline, and that that is everything that follows from that point. If we're gonna go outside okay. of Twin Peaks, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then we could go outside of the, the like the town and the traditional plot line of Twin Peaks. Mm -hmm. Then maybe the dreamer is Senorita Dito in the White Lodge. Uh -huh. mm, okay, and. If we want to go stay Lynch, go outside of Twin Peaks, Mulholland. then maybe the lady with the blue hair in Mulholland Drive. Although okay. I think I've heard Dito a lost and the blue haired too. lady are probably analogs. Mm -hmm. So both could be correct on that front. I, I, I would slide guesses. more to Sarah Palmer. I can see that. Mm -hmm. I, can, I can see that. But I just feel like Laura, she's such a big... Every episode is always wrapped around Laura Palmer in a way that it feels like it's just all in her head. A vanity thing. Narcissism's kicking in a little bit. She's a teen. Yeah. All right. Well, hear me out. It's Naomi Watts' character from Mulholland Drive. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. Oh, hear, Mulholland Drive. Hear me out, because you mentioned before when you were in the Black Lodge that it's the same universe. So mm -hmm. Twin Peaks, Mulholland Drive, same universe. We can all agree there, right? Yes? Okay. Yes. More or less. Okay, cool. So I think that their ages match up properly and that this was a kind of a self image of Diane in her teenage years. There, Naomi Watts was 33 when that movie came out and the, so if she was 17 in 1990, she'd be 28 in the movie. Uh, the ages match up perfectly. She could have come from a small town like Twin Peaks and she could have been just kind her of- imagination Her imagination. And they, both of these characters have a duality to them. They have, she wants to present herself as something pure, but she has this darkness to her. And so she's projecting that in her dreams as this character, this other pretty blonde, Laura Palmer. And in Mulholland Drive, we see clearly that she has like these vivid dreams and what feels like a dream also feels like a dream in Twin Peaks. So what that whole Betty thing felt very dream-esque as does Twin Peaks, and what we see with Diane feels grounded in reality. So I think that it's Diane. I'm starting Thoughts? to. I'm starting to question. Uh, Diane Selwyn. My yes, whole entire Diane theory. Selwyn. Okay. Let's yes. <laughs> no, wait. <laughs> I guess the question is, <laughs> how does the Laura Palmer and Ronette Pulaski doppelgangers in the mm -hmm. Theater Silencio fit into that? But it's another I don't think it shatters that idea at all. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Throw you Just off. Dream levels. Mm-hmm. The dream levels, I think. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. These are both really good. <laughs> 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 That's Take that, Craig's <laughs> theory. No, no. Take that, Craig Thomas. <laughs> That's the best thing about yes. David Lynch and his work. You yes. can take anything and go anywhere with it, and I love it. So we can go on forever with this, but we're not going to. We're going to have about, like, what, five more minutes here on this. But let's move on, and I have a few more things to go over with. I am not going to hit the table. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, those are all good theories. I like them. Um, with that said... Let's go back to dreaming for a second. If I have you all on the same level that it's all a dream, then let's do some more examples of why it's a dream. One of them is just the fantastical way of everything. Uh, We have these monstrous creatures, episode eight. That really tells you, okay, we're looking at a fantasy here. Someone's mind is going just to town on so many things. Diana, the scene where you got the ghost popping out of like when Richard ran over the kid and the ghost flying up, all these moments. So you're thinking, okay, this is, this is very, very dream-esque and even in episode I feel like it's 16 I want to say 16 or 17 where oh god no what's this scene I've been loving you what was his name for too long but I can't stop now what am I what you know who I'm thinking of I just can't think of their name Road and the diner scene at the very end he finally gets his one true love oh Big Ed? Big Ed. Thank oh, you. Yeah, there yeah, you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. I didn't remember this background music during that scene. I was like, what Uh-oh. are you talking Otis about? Otis Redding. Yeah. Yeah. Please don't make me stop now, yeah. I love it. That, to me, felt so much like a dream. It's heartbreaking, too, mm-hmm. when you think about it. it. But it just feels so much like he's just dreaming at this very moment. Like Audrey's dreams in the roadhouse. This is just a Big Ed dream mm-hmm. inside of a dream. At the same time, again, guys, I think it's all just a dream, all of it. It was all a dream. We live inside. We live inside. We live inside a dream. And then finally, one more thing on dreams. This one's actually from Reddit, and it's from user Dickens Headsworth. Okay, cool. All right, so in episode 17, the ultimate... (laughs) (laughs) Episode 17 was ultimately a fairy tale ending. Good triumphs over evil in a ridiculous, corny, abrupt Deus Ex Machina fashion. Everybody pats themselves on the back, and the hero gets his girl before traveling back in time and retroactively saving Laura Palmer from ever being murdered in the first place. It's ridiculous, it's absurd, it's downright impossible. But anything can happen in a dream. I hope I see all of you again. Every one of you. All right, guys, vote on this theory. What do you think? Is it all in Laura Palmer's head? I don't know if it's Laura's head, but I believe you about the dream level. It's all a dream. I think that it is all a dream, but I'll there's there are scenes that we've seen in reality, but or characters we've seen in reality rather, and mm-hmm. there are different levels to the dream levels of Inception. <laughs> I'll take that. It's it's perfectly fine. Lynch throws so much things in there that he knows that I can't lead you down one path without another detour going mm-hmm. another way somewhere, but. Schubert, what do you think? I think I can almost accept it. I think that maybe the the sort of dream tears I'm struggling the most with. Mm, the reality us, that final one. Yeah, that, you know, the, the return is the dream within the Twin Peaks reality, and it seems, uh, to me, I can almost buy the opposite. That you know the original series is is the return is the is the the imaginary world within the return. Interesting. Uh, and then figuring in Fire Walk with me, there's 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 just these sort of loose end components that don't quite work for me with the Laura Palmer Dreamer. You know the mm-hmm. unless ooh, accepting the idea that. She's completely imagined the entire FBI <laughs> and and their mechanism in the dream. I mean, we could be in a dream as well, though. What this is could all real? Be a dream. I don't know. What is real? We live inside a dream. Silencio. 
okay, that's it for us over here, everybody. What do you think about the theory? Let me know, if, was it all a dream or is it something else entirely different? Let me know in the comment section down below your favorite theory. And as always, keep it tuned to GameSpot Universe. Bye guys. I don't understand dream levels, but it sounds cool. See, we gotta talk about transcendental meditation for a little bit. No. That should be the next fan theory. There's, no. <laughs> okay. There's stuff in there that we didn't address, yeah. <laughs>